<laughs> Good Monday morning to you ladies and gentlemen. Monday, Monday. Remember the song, Monday, Monday? Well, this is Monday. But anyway, good morning from Falcon Lake, Texas State Park. Uh, it's, hey, Google, what's the temperature at Falcon Lake State Park? Internet's really slow today for some reason. Anyway, I think it's around 72 or 70. Yeah, we've, it's there really, was a glitch. Try again in a few seconds. Yeah, there's some kind of YouTube issue, or not YouTube, but uh, internet issue this morning. But anyway, be, moving right along, I'm still alive in my 2021 Thor Four Winds uh, Class C motorhome, and uh, so far so good. And uh, what else? A, a long-time, full-time RVer, and today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. Because it'll be gone before you know it. I mean, time is ch -ch -ch going. But anyway, yeah, it's the day before yesterday. Day before yesterday. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. How about that one? But anyway, guys, I'll wake up here in a minute. So make it a good one. It's, you're in charge of it. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? I don't know. I don't know if it's just a Google Assistant or we'll see. Let me try this. What's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? I don't know. In oh. Bangor, it's currently 15 degrees. Due to current wind conditions, it feels like it's 6. Yeah, it's really slow, so we won't ask many of those. Uh, hey, Google, what's the temperature in Miami, Florida? I don't know. It's really, really, really slow because I did a speed test and it's really bad. But be that as it may, uh, we'll skip that then. Anyway, these are my buddies back here. This thing's gone nuts. But anyway, you've seen, I got some new bananas, or fairly new, and uh, that's good. I got, I reloaded the other day, so let's get along with that. And then, let's do a, well, let's see, we can't even get her, hey, Google, tell me a joke. Really slow. I don't know what's happening. I mean, it shows that I got pretty good speed. Sorry, something went wrong. Try again in a few seconds. She's been saying that all morning. Let's try something else here. Let me turn that off and reconnect. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, and here's a joke for you. It says, a, a bookseller conducting a market survey asked a woman, which book has helped you most in your life? The woman replied, my husband's checkbook. I think I've read that. The wife said to her husband, there's trouble with the car. It has water in the carburetor. Her husband replied, water in the carburetor? That's ridiculous. The wife said, I tell you, the car has water in the carburetor. The husband said, you don't even know what a carburetor is. I'll check, I'll check it out. Where's the car? Her, his wife replied, in the pool. Okay. <laughs> hey, Google, what's the temperature in Miami, Florida? That didn't help. I reconnected and it didn't do anything. So we'll just have to skip that phase of the uh, stuff. But having said that, no big deal. Moving right along. Uh, comments, we got plenty. Today, I'll do probably a driving video, driving in the Class C. And what else? I got a note here. Oh, <laughs> I thought of this yesterday. Uh, my memory foam mattress has Alzheimer's. <laughs> I mean, or dementia or something. Uh, it's not remembering too well. It's, it's the cheapest mattress they could find. You got to know that. And uh, so that's kind of the way that is. But yeah, it's uh, 
Yeah. So yeah, you, if you have a memory foam mattress, uh, that's a marketing gimmick. They they don't remember crap. I mean, their memory is shot. But having said that, we'll move along with some comments now. Now that Google let me down, and and you know what that means, don't you? The the uh, uploading this video is going to take seven days and seven nights because I did a speed test earlier, and here I'll do it now. You see, it shows upload speeds of. Well, you can't may not be able to see it. I got it plugged into the charger. Those are the upload speeds. Let me get up to where you can see. That's with the Wii Boost. And, and that excuse me, the first one was the download. This is the upload now. Is that bad? It ain't good. At that speed to upload a comment call would take about three hours, maybe more. I don't know, man. And uh, it's got shows that Wii Boost is working. Everything's doing okay. Anyway, my problem or issue. Anyway, beans and bacon. Hello, beans and bacon. Can't beat free. Looks fairly clean. That was on the free camping. Elizabeth Gonzalez. Rusty, are you rusty? You are near my family's ranch. Will you be coming to the RGV? I think RGV means Rio Grande Valley, and I uh, guess. Uh, that's further south, and I don't plan to go further south if that's what RGV stands for. Thank you, Elizabeth. Gavin H., I did extend a few days here. Now, whether I'll actually stay here that long, I don't know, but I was hedging my bets because I noticed there were some people that were moving from site to site so they could get their two, two or three week stay in, and I thought, well, I really don't want to move, and I may want to stay, so I went ahead and May, <clears throat> booked another eight days <clears throat> and then if I change my mind it just cost me ten bucks uh, as a cancellation fee Gavin H when starts looking like Slab City won't be long before they start pushing back do they have 14 day rule as far as I know they don't have any rules there I don't know man you like to call the county commissioner and ask him Fred Thorne like their tricks have said, old school hippie boondockers. The schoolies got conservative, cashed in their 401ks, and painted the school bus white. Not even a tie-dyed t-shirt anywhere. Peace, trike man. Yeah, the old hippie thing, I, I lived right through the heart of it. Uh, I was right in the middle of it. Yeah. Paul S. Trike man does find some interesting places when he triketh. This place looks like an upscale homeless encampment. Yeah, it does. Uh, same, let's see, this is Paul S. again. It looks like the Classita is about as easy to drive as your Ram, true? It is. I don't have any problem getting around it. I can go anywhere. The only place I really would have to be careful is if I went into a drive-in, a drive-up window. I, I probably don't want to do that. Guardian Pet Care Jim says a nice free camping area for lots of folks. A bit too crowded for me. I try not to be within sight of others. I like dogs and maybe three people, but that's just me. Thanks for the tour, trike man. Hope you and the goat have a good Monday. Hope that maybe, let's see if the goat's working this morning. Yeah, the goat's okay. Coming in from outer space. Got your kiss this morning, ladies and gentlemen. Ethel Perry, thumbs up to you. 4321 GRP, someone there has a nice casita. Yeah, I saw that too, they had a generator too. Dino. 666, old Rusty, quit trying to sound smart. You are not. Oh, good. Here you go, Matilda. Waltz and Matilda. Here's breakfast for you, honey. Dino666 is pancakes with maple syrup. And here he goes now. Gone. Boop. <laughs> Bye-bye, Dino666. Nice, smart remark. Is that all you could think of? Uh, anyway, Cactus Jack. I'm a free-range rider. I live with the wind, and no one cares where I go. Okay. Do it. There's old Dino again. Let me get it. Here comes some more, Matilda. Here comes Dino again. Boom. Okay. Here comes Dino again. 
Boy, you're going to be gaining a little weight. Thank you. Thank you, Dino. Thank you, Dino. 666 for your maple syrup and pancakes. Anyway, bye, Dino. April Cawley, can you send me the address? Babyhead Community, can, can I send you the address? It's between uh, Lano, Texas, and uh, is it Comanche? Yeah, you just go north out of Lano, about eight miles on the right-hand side, April. You'll find it. Roxanne Wolf on Trike Man. Hi, Rusty. I remembered that you had a casita, and I'm thinking of buying one. It is 17 feet, 2003. What did you pull it with? I have a 2014 Ford Escape SUV. I have an inkling my SUV won't pull it. Well, Roxanne, if it's a six-cylinder, it probably will. Check the towing weight for a 2014 Ford Escape SUV, and or towing capacity, I'm sorry, towing capacity. <clears throat> and if it's over 4,000 pounds, you're good. Or if it's close to 4,000 pounds, you're okay. You know, 3,000, you could do it. Uh, 4,000 is better. Okay, good luck. Yeah, it's a good RV. Yeah, you're fine. Tracy Phillips. Great video, Rusty. I read that long comment that Lizzie left. Kind of like community. Thanks for the video. Really cool. Yeah, there was a lady that left. A, I may get to it this morning if there's not too many. Jose Flores, I'm an hour and 20 minutes away from you. We could do beer 30 Miller time. Well, uh, I'm here. Uh, yeah, if the weather's nice, four to five uh, every day. But yeah, just remember, I'm, I'm pretty... Uh, you know, that's fine. Yeah, four to five. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Sissy Taylor, four to five. Yeah. Can you make your own spot as long as, and stay as, stay as long as you want? Are there 14 day things? Seems like it's a nice place to stop and go or stay a bit. Thanks for sharing. Uh, for, yeah, you just put, find your own spot. Yes, you can. As far as how long you can stay, I don't know. Tony Venata, great video, Rusty. Thank you. Same person. Good afternoon, America. Had hail storm in Mesa, Arizona at 5.30 p.m. Lots and lots of needed rain. Yeah, you always need rain in Mesa, Arizona, don't you? Yeah, even my comments are loading out slow, so we've got an internet issue somewhere. This, this guy's name is Enjoy Every Day. Do you still have that police vest? What happened to the picture of the Mexican who lived with you in your youth? Lastly, I am wrong in thinking that Levi sold. Am I wrong? He did sell it, and then he bought it back. He sold it to a friend, and then he bought it back. I think they had an arrangement. Uh, what happened to the picture? I still have it. I just don't have it on the wall. Uh, do you still have the police vest? Somewhere, yeah. DM, sometimes, Rusty. This is on the tracking. Sometimes, Rusty, I don't want the video to end. Well, it's got to. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, retirement living. Hurry back to your campsite before the rain comes. Stay safe. There was no rain yesterday. No, we don't have any rain in the 10-day forecast. Uh, tri uh, this person says, uh, this person's name is Couch. Where's the people? Uh, probably inside uh, reading. They're either inside reading books or doing internet stuff or taking walks or else they drove into town. You know, it's typical. It's the same way here at the state park. You hardly ever see anybody. They're all either inside doing something or outside driving around or something. Uh, David Crum. Hey, Rusty, nice video. I'm building a schoolie seven window. Got the seats out and got the new floor put in. I live in Pigot, Pigot, Pigot Arkansas. May, may see you on the road sometime. That's possible. Possible. Well, if we do, say hello. Uh, anyway, this is Paul Pierce. Don't go through all the comments. Just a minute. Didn't go through all the comments, but that exhaust, exhaust pipe looks like it has a bad well. Yeah, it does. Apparently, you're several people. I'm going to take it to an exhaust place and then get uh, Thor Manufacturing to pay for it. I'm going to call them this morning. <clears throat> I'll probably do it when I get back to Lano. I was going to do it here, but the problem here in uh, this area of Texas, you may go to a exhaust place and uh, no one speaks any English or very little or limited. And uh, that can be a problem when you're trying to explain what needs to be, what you need done. Selby Jones, cool. I love nothing, no stress. What more could anyone want going west from eastern North Carolina in February and March? Sam and Cindy Jones. Well, good. Go for it. Uh, TT Boy 2004. Oh, never mind. Neg it's a negative thing.
Stay positive, T.T. Boy. Samuel Fink, hell, as a 52-year-old man, I could live there as long as the people were decent. Yeah, it's, and they are, I'm sure that's, all the people are nice. Most uh, RVers are pretty nice people. Samuel, oh, I already read that. Pa Patrick Hagens, I drove trucks for 20 years. CB radio is a good thing to listen to when driving. If something is happening on the highway, you will know way ahead. Yeah, the, and I may get one. I, you know, again, uh, you know, I got a, a camera mount on the dash. I got my uh, uh, tire monitor on the dash. You know, and uh, I, well, I can get a handheld CB radio. I guess I could do that. <laughs> or get something with a little magnetic antenna that works. Yeah, I might do that. Uh, anyway, thank you, Patrick. DeWin, D-E-W-I-N-E, DeWinny or something. DeWine, DeWine, nothing but DeWine. Uh, anyway, thanks a lot, Rusty. I learned a lot with this video. That was on oh, an overlanding. I didn't even know what that was till I met those people out at uh, Oliver Lee State Park. Yeah, it's, uh, they make trucks where you can basically go in the water. I mean, like deep in the water. Yeah, they call it overlanding. Tasmod, hi, track man. Very interesting camping area. I stayed in a rental travel trailer in a trailer park during the summer while working in a national forest. The shower floor was below of the drain. Had to use a sponge to get rid of the water after the shower. The rest of the place was okay. Well, that sounds like a real winter you had there, Taz. Uh, Boondock Charlie, nice looking place and free as a bonus. Thanks. Yeah, it's okay. It's not bad. It's, it's the, the big advantage to it is the is the weather in the winter. Uh, you know, it's seventies and you know in the winter here, sixties, seventies, eighties. You know, it's not bad. Uh, adventuring art, binge watching. Nice to see your old stomping ground. That was a video I did of my hometown, Kennedy, Texas. K-E-N-E-D-Y, one N. Yeah, thank you, Adventuring Art, for binge watching, and everybody that wants to do that, do it. Uh, anyway, JT's All Outdoors. I called a guide friend of mine that I fish with on Falcon this morning, and he said that Falcon was 39.65 feet low. He said the lake was still fishing really good with lots of crap, crappie and some big bass being caught. Awesome video, Rusty. Thank, take care. Thank you, JT. Pano Taker, okay, looks to me like most of those people are living there, not camping there. I'm sure some of them have been there for a while. Wayne Johnson, a place for all kinds. Yeah, it, it, believe me, guys. You know, every it, you know, you, you'd be surprised what you can live in comfortably. Uh, Tasman, hi Rusty. An ad came on YouTube where Slavic women are looking to date men of all types. Interested? He he. Uh, no, you go for it though. Uh, James Hayworth. Thanks for the tour, but does the sun ever shine? Yeah, it does. You know, and, and actually, I like these overcast days better because if the sun comes out and shines, it gets up, uh, near 90. Yeah. El Pat La Pat Patri or La Patri, Patri P A T R I E. Rusty, I have the same one. That's on the, con con oh, the uh, dehumidifier. I have the same one, 12 hours it pulls out about a teaspoon, basically worth it's my casita. I now use a large one that I bought for the house, pulls out a lot in four hours. Well, I got one, mine pulls out about uh, overnight, a pint, in 24 hours a pint, yeah, which is a lot. Tasmod, high rusty weather on Oregon coast town of Reedsport is 47 high, low 37, rain, quack, quack. Yeah, well, you're in a rainy area. Anyway, we'll do a few more here, then shut her down, because it'll take forever to upload this thing. Apparently, we got a real speed problem this morning. Mike Hunt, wow, that is a crowded park. Park, looks like long lines at the dump station tonight. Yeah, right, nobody. <laughs> John Patillo, I'd be interested to know how much of the crowding is due to the economy and how much is due to the increase in RVing. Uh, that'd be tough to figure out unless you just interviewed everybody, and I don't think people want to be interviewed. Robin K, loving the Class C driving videos as much as the triking one. Thanks, Rusty. Have a wonderful day. I'm an elder. Yeah, and uh, here's Boondocking with Dennis. Always great to have options. Sure is. Check his channel out. He boondocks along the Gulf Coast of Channel. Uh, uh, both. The Gulf Coast of Texas. Wow, I'll get it here in a minute. Yeah, Boondocking with Dennis. Uh, Lone Wolf Nomad, thank you for the tour. Have a great week. Uh, okay, here's one that's got to go here. No, I'm not going to read that. Uh, there was a good one. 
Anyway, there was a long one that a lady left. I don't see it. But anyway, it was about the camping over there because she's over there camping right now. <clears throat> but having said that, ladies and gentlemen, from Falcon Lake State Park on a nice day. It's uh, 70 right now, actually, here, and it's 59 in Lano. I checked that earlier, so this is nice. And uh, this afternoon be in the 80s, uh, so that's nice, too. But anyway, having said that, thumbs up. Carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you one penny. You just click on the link, go to Amazon, buy whatever you want, and uh, Amazon takes care of me. Pretty simple, right? And uh, then what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much. And the only way to really lose weight is to form the habit of eating less. That's it. You know, you, jogging, I guess, helps you, you, you physically, but as far as losing weight, it ain't doing much. And then what else? Uh, let's see. Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You bet. Do it, do it several times a day. And then stretch, 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 swivel, 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 walk, 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 pedal, 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 pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day every single day why well because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer healthier because of that one thing and then what else stand guard at the door of your mind do not let negative nancy or negative ned get inside of your head this is your head your brain your frontal lobes your consciousness all those little neurons in there are forming neural links which are all your thoughts everything every memory everything is a neural link so add good ingredients how difficult is that use your titanium cranium to keep out negativity. Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. That's your choice. My recommendation is to read the news. It takes all the talking head emotion out of it. And all they're doing there is just jerking you around anyway. Most of you aren't going to do it. I know that. But at least I say it. <laughs> it makes me feel better. But anyway, what else? Uh, accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. Enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease. Carry on. Adios. Bye-bye, hasta luego, aloha, until next time, which will be lunchtime, and I'll probably post a driving video today, and on and on we go, guys. Enjoy your Monday, enjoy your life every day. Adios, guys. Bye-bye. It may take forever to load this thing. Bye-bye.